So, you came back for part three. Where'd you start with part three? Whatever. So, we got some things that we can work on. Little things we can start adding to our classroom. Yeah, we don't have to have those big major discussions. We know some of these things are just good ideas. You know, tinker toys. You remember those things? You know, log cabins, the rector sets, Legos. He's going to be an architect. You know, Calvin exploring the theory of relativity. Yes, it's still a theory. It's been over 100 years. Theory is a good thing in science. Public doesn't understand that. Public thinks theories are mishmash and unsure and unproven. Theories are pretty strong. So he's going faster we go, the slower time goes. You know, as you approach the speed of, sa speed of light, time slows down. So he's going faster, going down the hill. His time slows and stopped. Off the cliff. I love when Calvin goes off the cliff. Also, how many times does that guy go off a cliff? No. He's a fraud. No, he's not. Calvin Ball. Remember when the babysitter learned how to play Calvin Ball? No rule. Make the rules up. The only rule is can't play it the same way twice. Make things up. Create. You know, look at what he's doing. This day. What if school were just like this? That'd be an interesting thing. Man, you'd just be there. You know, experiment. Play. Um, kids need to do that. That's how you, that's how we learn. We're born natural learners. You come out trying to experiment and find, and that's how you learn stuff. You put it in your hand, put it in your face, you smack it, you slap it, you throw it, you put it in your mouth, you take it. You, that's what we do. And we let you know, touch the hot plate, learn it's not hot, touch the thing in the microwave, things are hot. You know, that's how we learn is through experiment and through play. Healthy part. What does Mythbusters say? The only difference between science and play is science takes data. You know, get the kids some tools. I love having tools in my classroom. It scares the kids sometimes. Kids in high school never use tools. Real, I mean, I know it. I know I was different a little bit. We built some. We built things in the backyard when we were in grade school. You know, ramps and forts and. Polish cannons. Remember anyone remember those? I'll tell you about it if you text me or send me a catch on Twitter. Um, he's gonna explode, take things apart. Mom hated looking in the bathroom because I used to just start mixing everything. I would just grab any bottle, shampoo with cologne, um, I'll rub me alcohol with this, and just mix it in a bottle, shake it up, let it sit for a while, see what would happen. Must I'm nothing. Most things just mix without any issues. Um, probably good that I didn't start mixing things from the garage, though. That would have been pretty dangerous. And of course, uh, but yeah, we gotta learn. We gotta let them take things apart. You know, besides you know letting them build things, we gotta let them take some things apart to see how they are. Yeah, I love how Calvin. You know, took a took a box and made something out of it. I remember watching one time uh, cousins, you know, giving a present to their kid and pulled out this, this, I forget what it was, but kind of a big size, like a shopping, little baby shopping cart. And the kids started playing with the box. And they took the box away, made them play with the shopping cart. It's like, no, they're having fun with the box. Remember the funny you just have with the box? Calvin makes a lot of things on that. You know, I like the idea of Maker. We can do some Maker in the classroom. Always, I try to think of something that we can create with. A lot of the lessons, physics is a, that I have is mostly all make. We're, we're building stuff. Cause I tell them, scientists had to build their own stuff. They didn't just go to the store and you know, pull something off the shelf, and that they had to build their experiments. So, so we're building stuff, and that's new for these kids. But I also try to think of stuff in geometry. Maybe not so much build, and we do some, um, but try to always have a design project. They have to create something. Make your space in the classroom pretty big, making stuff. You know, what if you want it to be something else? I left some room. Last time you made a duplicate. Remember what happened? He made a duplicator. They all went to school different days. He was never there. Always getting him into trouble. He got into more trouble with the duplicates. He did it with him. Ah, uh, but he changed it. Now he's going to just make the good him. Oop. Now you made a time machine out of the box. What? Come on, don't you know? You, you crawl under one. You crawl into one. 
They're different. You know, tweak something, adapt something. We've got to do a lot of tweaking and adapting. That's big for kids. Nothing happens right the first time. they got to learn to tweak and adapt. Everything. You never get, I mean, if you got it right the first time, did you learn anything? You know, no one's done it. There's got to be real. you know, that's, to me, that's, that's what I like about learning. It's new. Why learn? Because something new. You know, no one's ever done this. Think of what could be done. You know, but then again, some scientists, that's not a good thing with some of the things they do. Some of them, uh, you know, kind of ruin themselves. So, so oh, I, I loved Hobbes. Like, scientific progress goes boink. It's always been a favorite phrase of mine. Well, that's what happens when he pressed the button. He went boink. You know, you know, but you got to take chances. We can always take a little bit of chances in the room, give up a little bit, always got to give up a little bit of control. Teach the kids to take some chances. School should be a safe place to take chances. School should be a place to be wrong because it's okay. That's how you learn. We got to make our environment safe for that. Whoop. Made himself into a baby tiger. All right. Words fail me. I'm disappointed, you know, but hey, it's new. I think schools should be cutting edge technology, uh, exploring stuff. We don't have the money for it, we don't have the budget for it, but we need to find that. Because cutting edge now will be mainstream when the kids are there. And they should be looking at all cutting edge technology and trying to see is this work it? Is this working? Is it worth it? What does it do? What can it do? What can I make for it to make it work right? How can I fix this? You know, give them the stuff that's just beginning phases so they can adapt and adopt it and change it and fix it. What apps can they write for it? What would they want it to do? You know, fail is a big thing. We've got to let kids fail. You know, a lot of people have been passing the acronym around fail is a first attempt in learning. Fail is big. I've had a lot of kids um, over the past few years. I've gotten better at this. You know, my first few years, I did a lot of bad things that I consider not bad in teaching. You know, extra credit, lots of homework. Lab was one time, one shot deal. I loved it this past year when I had one la one lab group. I had to do the same lab three times. But I gave them time to do it. That's the other thing about deadlines. I gave them time. They, they did the lab and came back. The next day I said, we got the wrong data. Look, I do it again. They went ahead, did it again. You know, next day, came back. We still got the wrong data. Do it again. Yeah, in the past, it would have been one day, knock off. Well, here's what you should have learned. That doesn't work. They don't get anywhere at that. we got to get good with failing. Not failing a class, but failing in the micro. you got to get it. That's how you learn. You learn from failure. Edison, how many times to... Edison did not invent the light bulb. Edison invented the... Uh, what is that? He invented a filament. He, de he got better at a filament that could be easily reproduced and long-lasting. Light bulb had already existed. What is it? I can never remember which statistics. Either a thousand times or ten thousand times that they tried to make one and it didn't work. And kept going. That's the thing I get kids at. Hey, it didn't work. Try it again. Didn't work. Try it again. Tweak it. Adapt it. Adopt it. Try again. Not yet. Get good with those words.